So in this video, we are going to learn how to read and write AWS IAM policy. So let's start. So this is the IAM policy structure, which contain optional top level element and multiple statement. And each statement contains sub, sub level element. Those are SID effect, principal action, resource, and the conditional block. So let's learn all these elements. So first is the top level element, which is the version. So it specify the version of the policy language that you want to use. And it is recommended that you use latest uh, version for the policy language. The second thing is statement. So state by statement. So use this main policy element okay as container for following elements so all other elements will be inside statement so you can include more than one statement in a policy one then more statement and each statement will contain SID effect principle and so on so the first element is SID SID is optional it include an optional statement ID to differentiate between your statement. So if you have multiple statement, so SID will differentiate all those statement. It is like a name of the statement. Okay. Now effect use allow or deny to indicate whether the policy allow or denies the access. So if you are writing the policy to deny for uh, access for the resource, so you have to define that thing in effect. Now the second thing is the third thing is principle uh, required only some circumstances. So if you create a resource based policy, you must indicate the account user role or federated user to which you would like to allow or deny access. So if you are creating an IAM permission policy, to attach to a user or role you cannot include this element the principle is implied at that user or the role so <clears throat> for the example you need to define like principle then uh, AWS and the ARN of the user ID or the account of the user for which you are going to allow the access for the resource we will see the example and then you will get more idea about the principle another element is action so include a list of action that the policy allow or denies so if you are allowing something you need to define for which you are allowing okay and the resource uh, element required in policy some circumstances like if you are create an IAM permission policy, you must specify a list of resources to which the action apply. If you create resource based policy, this element is optional. If you do not include this element, then the resource to which the action applies is the resource to which the policy attached. Okay, so the resource can be applied for uh, resource can be defined for a particular resource you want to apply this policy okay so this is required for those purpose and resource contain the condition so in case there is condition to which this policy will apply you can include condition that is also optional and it specify the circumstances under which the policy grant permission so let's understand all these elements through the example so this is the first example of the um, JSON policy. The following identity based policy allows the implied principle to list single a a a AWS S3 bucket named example bucket. So this is defined a version which is a top level element and then it is starting with statement. Then effect define, you can define SID but there is also optional so if you not define no problem if you define then it is good so effect allow so you are allowing something in this policy 
what you are allowing action for s3 list bucket so you are allowing to list s3 bucket and here you define resource arn that means this particular policy is only applies to that this particular resource which name na this is the name of the bucket or the arn of the bucket for which this policy is applying let's under understand another example the following resource based policy can be attached to an amazon s3 bucket the policy allows member of specific aws account to perform any s3 action in the bucket named my bucket it allow any action that can be performed on bucket or the object within it because the policy grant trust only to the count individual user in the count must still be granted permission for the specified s3 so here uh, this policy is allowing this particular user and that is why principal is may, uh, given here and this user is allowing the resource particular to this S3 buckets so these are the uh, bucket UI ARN given here and you are allowing the policy here like action so let's start with the uh, first line you define the version statement and you define SID the name of this statement like it is like a name of the statement then in fact you are allowing something the principal like this you are allowing for this particular account the root user is a ARN of the root user or or any uh, users ARN action s3 st asterisk that means you are allowing f ac uh, uh, all the permission all the you know uh, access for this S3 resource uh, S3 AWS service and the resource is for this particular two bucket so this user will get all kind of S3 related access for this two bucket so this is the meaning of this policy let's understand uh, the another example which is a condition so if you define any condition how it will uh, work so you define the version statement then SID name of the statement effect allow action you are allowing for this AWS service like secret manager for secret manager you are giving permission create secret and resource all type of resource like inside the secret manager everything but inside that you have a condition like string equals to resource tag scope is equal to app means the secret manager those who are having a tag like scope is equal to the key should be scope and the value should be app so all the resources inside the secret manager uh, uh, this AWS service everything is allowed those who are having the tag, uh, tag which is equal to scope is equal to app right so this is the good example of conditional statement so this is all about the json policy syntax thank you